Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Read them already. Didn't help. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I don't feel like pitching cards right now.
buenos días. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question. Of Manny, you know, stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Memos are for reading and throwing away, and not much else. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Sir, I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you 
Hollywood driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> Screw the rules. Come with me. No. I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike, and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the Day of the Dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. get this work order signed. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere.
It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Ziva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! It's my boss's secretary. It's my boss. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripe, Saver! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving! Yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> oh, favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera.
Bound only by the... And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Nice bathroom. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here. Have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I wanna tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I 
I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. I think Dom would call it. No use for it. No, you look at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Yeah, right. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. <laughs> 
I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Dead one. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. That's not what balloon. Kid uh, wants an eye. Uh, okay, a cat. <laughs> no problem. Tada! Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent. All right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah! Another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. That's not what balloons are for. Ugh, that smell.
What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Look out below. Server's down again. What else is new? Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is the idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that? So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Oh, not again. Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Good enough for government work.
said his colon mark, client number 9308, blah, 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 he died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're Edmir said this, Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Pilates, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? 
That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! like soft serve ice cream but judging by the smell I think it's auto body filler hey anybody out there so Manuel have you thought about what you have done who's out there I'm you or rather I was you years ago yeah well I'm me now so get lost Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Hmm. Good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Hey, guard! How's my little... Cramped, ready for walkies. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song, I know. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place, young man. You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other.
So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. On there. I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field, but it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now, but someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Manuel. Manuel, I was looking at that. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. This is empty. this in his mouth. No use for it.
no use for it. No. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Lousy little ledge pickers. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, are those pigeons... Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked.
Agent Calavera and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. do with Gladys. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. That made a perfect impression of my teeth and the quite a chalky aftertaste too. This looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest.
Claude is my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. <laughs> I can't just leave Glottis laying there. He could be dying. <laughs> Could be dying. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Can't wake up, buddy.
soup's on. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. There's already a bone in there. There's already a bone in there. to eat. Strong, beating, good heart! Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask!
Not right now. find out in the safety of the bone wagon. I'm not carrying this thing any farther if it's gonna keep pointing the other way like that. It's demoralizing. What are you doing? Aye, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. in the safety of the bone wagon. Thank <laughs> you. 
careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on! I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights! That'll shake her down for sure! Okay! Just give me a second to balance these doggies! transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in! Or are you afraid of heights?
Maria. Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety of the bone wagon.
I don't need any more. I'm practically made of them. Got my tar needle. Those monsters were those monsters on the other side.
don't need any more. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? I couldn't take that if only I had... I couldn't take that if only... This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Save you! 
Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town, Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mech is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Elso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, no a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso.
tourists. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? Gladys, you gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry Dr. Bonewagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. 
It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too! boss you gonna come downstairs I got a customer asking for you you know I don't like to mingle with the customers well you may want to mingle with this one she sounds like your type well looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba Ah, Lady Luck. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Hello, Manny. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meche. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, 
I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you settle your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I'll think about it. <laughs> I can tell when you're just humoring me, you know? I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, sir. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny... If you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Luger, Noir, Perry Monk, number two. Two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Ah, oh, my 
amarillo de oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Evening, Lupe. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is... I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay! Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Be an annual thing with you, Manny. Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out. I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but. But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself.
All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Arrange is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Glottis some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint.
Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm... I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Le jeu noir par un manque. N'importe où, who is the winner? Your chips, monsieur. How nice. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my... my... my problem. Gladys? Compadre? Tried. Only Gladys can get these doors open. Ladies and gentlemen, you have 15 minutes to place your bets. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more.
beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline, was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. smell it says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty Like a oh, great night for cat no races. Hello. Please keep off the track. Oh, hi. Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Do not pet the cats, please. Stubs, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Balls cure. Smokey's ride. Screeching for vengeance. Thick of the letter. El Pussy Poncho. Tuna Fish Bonanza. Big Furry Bastard. Come on! Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Looks like cans of some sort of can. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. Looks like a turkey baster. That monster upstairs is running me ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Somebody please open the door! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, 
locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Mmm, mm, fruity but voluminous. Nothing. Nah, if I let that waiter out now, he'd have me eight balled from the club. on the job. Ah, it's empty. Ah. Ruben, where are you? Aha! Oh, mon dieu! Take a little nap. A vu, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Eto, my wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place.
can't get through this door.
Dios mío, it's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> I'm a union man now. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you.
Things do look bad, but this ch- Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny. At last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some rapid, rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another boom? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to me. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. 
I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. <laughs>